Imagine if those were all hundreds. The Sixer Love has been running deep on this web series, and today is no different. We give out $25 gift cards to Patreon winners every month, and it's become a trend for people to just say, keep the money and go to this restaurant of my choosing. This is a very nutritious lunch. All the food groups are represented. So who we got today, Corey? Today we got an awesome fan of ours, a patron, a supporter, Sarah Sorkin. We're headed to The Bagel, which is a very good deli here on the north side of Chicago. Thanks to Sarah's suggestion, we're headed there now. Come along, Sixers. Peace. Two corned beef sandwiches from the bagel have been acquired. Chug guy! Second angle. All right. Best deli in Chicago, so they say. So they do say. Oh, look at that bread. Oh my. That stacks of meat. Stacks on stacks on racks on racks. Dude. When I'm craving like a, a deli sandwich, it's probably because the meat is so high that you just can't get sandwiches like this at another type of restaurant, like a Jewish deli. Is the bagel like a Jewish deli? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So what is that? There's so many rye bread, right? Kind of the, the going the going bread. Uh, that's right, little rye bread. They give you the, the mustard and mayonnaise separate in case you want to mustard it up. Yeah, which I will. Probably will. Yeah. But this looks fashionable, man. I'm gonna use my tray from Bad Billy today. There you go. Rhymed? There's that. Uh, got yourself a pickle. Thank you. Got yourself some coleslaw. Slaw it up. Got yourself some chips. Thank you. Two corned beef sandwiches and mm. two came with the drinks and the chip and the coleslaw. Thirty-four dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's an expensive spot, that's for sure. This would be a treat. This would be like a treat for me if I was gonna do this. I don't go and grab fifteen dollar <clears throat> sandwiches normally. Luckily, it's offset by Sarah Sorkin. Boss mode, beast mode. Supporting us and basically buying this for us. Thank you, Sarah. Corned beef from the bagel. Cheers. <clears throat> Oh my god. Mm. That is good quality meat. Mm. My whole soul, my ginger soul, you know, mm. my dead Satan soul warmed up. Even more. Gingers have souls! I go to church. I'm a Christian. I have my favorite meat. Mm -hmm. beef. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm today. My allergy induced asthma is, on the last few days, been a little more aggressive than usual. I'm kind of dying over here. Don't you go dying on me! When you get a web series, you get it raw. We're doing it as it is. Oh, this is well. Yeah, just making you feel a little bit better. Just giving you some oxygen. Unfortunately, <clears throat> that's not the case. <laughs> what if a really good corned beef sandwich cured whatever you had going on? That would be awesome. <laughs> That'd be cool. Maybe that's what heaven's like. Mm-hmm. Corned beef and no illness. <laughs> I like to go jumbo on the sodas there, too. Yeah, I have a small. Would you like a bucket? <clears throat> okay, put it in a bucket. Really love this area on Broadway. We've done, in and around this area, we've done Stella's. Oh. oh. Oh, this sweet. is like legit carved turkey, too. All right, cheers, cheers. We did Flub-a-Dub Chubs. Oh, man. Oh, it's totally good. So, dude, this is a good dog. Right? Crisp with Deanna Ortiz. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Bad. This yeah. is really good. Get out of here, dude. My, this is one of my favorite streets. Mm -hmm. Is this what they meant when you want your name in lights on in Broadway? Mm -mm. I'm from New York. <laughs> oh. When somebody says, I just got my dream job on Broadway, does that mean they're working <clears throat> on this street? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, New Tokyo. They go rat restaurant, you get a job there, it changes your life. <laughs> Oh, pretty good. I like a good rye bread. Mm -hmm. Homemade? I think the problem is, <clears throat> I haven't been to a doctor in a long time. Uh-huh. My inhaler, it's either the one I got from the <coughs> military. I've been out of the military for 10 years. It's either my military inhaler, or it's one that my mom just, I think, stole from the hospital for me, or it's the one that I found at LA Fitness. <laughs> either way, it's got to be expired and not great for me. <laughs> so that's probably, I need to go to the doctor soon and get me hooked up. You need inhaler money. Mm-hmm. This web series needs to do so well. You got inhaler money. About to hit up the VA, man, next week, bro. I gotta set an appointment. 
Yeah, so a couple things checked out. I haven't been to the doctor in so long. You know what doesn't help is when I go to the doctor, they're gonna do all the vitals check, like your heart rate and all that stuff, your blood pressure. And we've been eating like sh for two years. I'm a little afraid what they're gonna say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sir, you don't happen to have a YouTube <clears throat> channel where you decimate your insides with fat, do you? Well, doc, as a matter of fact, I do. Yeah, that's a good point. It's probably not gonna be fun to hear No, about. you guys, look how thin. You, you want your meat from like a deli like this to be nice and thin, like razor thin. Look at this. Where'd you get this thing? I traded in my sausage press. I mean, look how thin that is. See, that's all surface area. The taste has nowhere to hide. It's so good. I just could eat it out of a bowl with my hands. I love corned beef. We were debating between this and the pickled beef tongue. I think That's which have... side of the debate I was on. <laughs> Man, if you like corned beef and you see today's episode, I guarantee you're running to a Jewish deli today. There's no way you can watch this and go, oh, that was pretty cool. I'll have it in a couple weeks. They're easily my favorite deli meat. This is giving me flashbacks to Indianapolis. Oh, yeah. Corned beef. Oh, tell my you God. About it. Look at how good this looks. In the sunset in Indianapolis, Indiana. You know what else was on the street that we did? What? Sushi burrito. <laughs> Unwrap this a little bit, just as you go. Yeah, I, I hate every, I don't like this at all. I can't believe it's still open, I walked past it the other day. There's a bunch of locations too. <clears throat> really? Mm-hmm. How? <laughs> Man, that sushi burrito episode is so funny to watch. See you like, not <laughs> <at all. laughs> Crunchy. Mm-hmm. That's all right, actually I don't like it very much. I have way better pickles than that. Wanna rate it? I do. Out of five, new inhalers for Corey. How many new inhalers for Corey do you give the corned beef mm. sandwich from the bagel? Hmm, let's see. That corned beef is super good. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go with, it's really expensive though. In terms of sandwich, like deli sandwiches, pretty good. I'm gonna go with the 375. It's good. It's not the best one I think I've ever had, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. My logic is the exact same. The price is very, very high. I don't want to eat that and then not be able to eat it very often because it's so pricey. So I'm gonna give it a, a 4.2. It's still like the, the taste was out of this world. It was great. Great, great. Also, eating that whole thing, like, I don't feel insane. Right. Like, full and hurting and like, mm -hmm. you know? So that's a good thing, but also. Yeah, it's better than eating like a greasy, gnarly. But for 17 bucks, a person, I feel I'm like so I should crazy. feel like that. Yeah. That's almost a whole Papa John's pizza. <laughs> yeah, per person. Mm -hmm. Sarah, thank you so much for sponsoring today's episode. It's a lot amazing. of fun. I'm really glad we ate that. But yeah, good things, guys. Fun episode. I'll get better for you soon. Don't or just stop watching because I was boring today. You're never boring. Even you on your worst day is better and funnier than me on my best. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you again tomorrow for a brand new episode of Number Six with Cheese.